Today, Kevin and I are gonna be reviewing the Betty Crocker No Bake Cookie Dough Bites. We have three flavors. We have peanut butter, chocolate chip, and lemon. These were three different prices. So, um, this one was $4.97 at Walmart. I have no idea why it was that much. This was the highest one. That was the peanut butter. Then the chocolate chip was $2.98 at a different Walmart. Bought at two different Walmarts. The more expensive one was bought at a, in a bigger town. Still, that's really expensive. And then the lemon we found at Kroger, and they were $3.29 at Kroger. So, still on the more expensive side, but um, uh, that's the prices. So, this is safe to eat raw, ready in 15 minutes or less. It says you have to add butter and sour cream. So, on the back of each one of these, cream uh, sorry, cream cheese. What did I say? Sour, sour cream? cream. <laughs> no, don't do that. Cream cheese. Okay. So, on the back of each one of these, it tells you how much cream cheese and butter you need. The peanut butter is the only one where you need a little bit more butter. You need a third a cup of cream cheese and three tablespoons of butter for the peanut butter. For the other two, you need a third a cup of cream cheese and two tablespoons of butter. So, we just bought a block of Philadelphia cream cheese, divided into uh, three and there you go. Then you can divide it between these and then you just have to add your butter. These look melty because they are. You want to put them in the microwave for 20 seconds and microwave them um, until they're melty. So then um, let's open this. We're going to start with the peanut butter. That's the one with the, that had the additional butter. So you get two things in your um, box. You get um, some chocolate chips, some melting chocolate, and then you get your packet. So, you, the, you, I'm going to do the exact same thing with all three of these. You pour this in, and then scrape your um, butter and cream cheese in. And then I start off... Um, We've reviewed three of these previously in a video, and I learned that it's best to start off with a spoon and then um, move uh, to your hands. So, um, I took my rings off of my hands, or my one hand, I only wear my wedding rings, but I took those off so that I can stick my hands in here and it won't get in my rings, but it's just easier if you use your hands. But I didn't want to put my hands in pure butter and uh, cream cheese, so I start out with the spoon. Okay, I've got these mixed up. Now, next to me, I have a cookie sheet, and I have one of these, what is that, Kevin? Silicone, Silicone thing. Um, non -stick thing. So you're supposed to get, uh, you're supposed to make these one inch round, and I am really not good at uh, determining how big that would be. <laughs> but they, um, you are supposed to get 18 of them. And if you watched the last video that I did of these, um, I didn't get as many as I was supposed to, but I mean, that's okay. It's just that, um, you know what though, I was gonna say your calories are gonna be off, but if you eat these things, you just have to kind of not be worried about that. You need to consider it a sweet treat because the only way to get your calories, you're never gonna get your calories right because even if you weighed each one of these and got them exactly right, then you're going to, we're gonna melt that bag of melting chocolate over here and you're gonna drizzle it over the top and trust me, there is no way you're ever going to be able to get the same amount of chocolate on top of each one. So you just gotta, Consider it a dessert and enjoy it. And, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. So, you're supposed to get 18 of these. We'll see how many I get. But you can put these on this pan. You can put them right up next to each other because you're just going to, um, you're not baking them, so they're not going to spread out. They're going to be, they are the size that they are. And you're just going to put them in the refrigerator. Um, as long as you can get your chocolate on top of them, uh, that's all that matters. 
Okay, I got 13 of the peanut butter bites. So not, not 18, but I did get 13. And I think those look like they're a good size. Now, if you're making these at home, you are gonna go ahead and melt this melting chocolate in the microwave and then drizzle it over the top. Since I'm making all three of these boxes for you, I'm gonna keep going and do all my drizzle at the end. So that makes sense for me. So I'm gonna do the same thing. This is the, the chocolate chip. And here's your chocolate. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I just did. the peanut butter and the uh, chocolate chip use the same chocolatey drizzle it's exactly the same I can put these right up next to each other and uh, that way when I'm drizzling the chocolate um, um, it doesn't matter if I if I get some chocolate from one package uh, on the peanut butter or on the chocolate it doesn't matter uh, now the lemon I will, uh, when I do those, I'll probably put those at the opposite end of the pan because those have a, um, like a white chocolate flavored coating. Okay, I got 13 of the uh, chocolate chip. So at least, if anything, I am consistent with my size. So it might be wrong, but you know. Okay, so here's the lemon, and this has a vanilla flavored drizzle. So that's why I'm, I'm gonna put all of uh, these at the opposite end of the pan. And so there's my lemon, but you make it the exact same way. I got 15 of the lemon ones, but I made the first two a little smaller. Kevin said that's probably the size they're supposed to be, is this size. So what I'm gonna do, because the chocolates are the exact same, I'm gonna pour them in both into one bowl and melt them for a minute. And then I'll go 10 seconds longer if I need it, stir it 10 seconds longer. And the same thing with the white one. I'm gonna pour the white one in a different bowl um, and then we'll be back. Okay, this is both of those pouches of the chocolate, and I have my little my little things here uh, because the bowl is very hot. Uh, but you want to just drizzle it over the top, and um, I am not good at this. It's it's not very uh, thin. I like using a fork. Um, some people might like a spoon. I know I'm, I'm right in your way, Kevin. Kevin's trying to film, and I'm like right in his way. But I am not very good at this at all. And it's not, like I said, it's not thin, so. This is what it will look like if, if your children do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's your vanilla flavored drizzle for your lemon. scraper here. I'm going to use this so that I can get all of that out of the, as much as possible out of the bowl. I, but I don't know how well it'll go on. That's the thing. Not bad. I mean, since I'm no good at it anyway, it doesn't make any difference. Okay, so now, you're going to put this entire pan in the refrigerator, and it says to just leave them until they're set. Um, 
It says drizzle topping over a bites and refrigerate until set. Refrigerate leftovers. So, and you can, with high altitude, um, no change. Uh, there's no change. So, I'm going to put these in the refrigerator, um, and then I'll let you know when we pull them out how long I left them. These have been in the refrigerator for half an hour. I don't think you need to leave them that long. I would say 15 minutes is fine, but I was busy doing other things, so half an hour it was. So, you can see, so like, here's one of the peanut butter. So, I'm just going to put a couple of these um, on a plate for Kevin and I. You can see they stay together really well. Um, let's get a couple of the chocolate chip ones. And some of them have more chocolate than others, but so they, they're they very firm, uh, but still soft. I'm gra grab a couple of lemon, and now we'll take these over to the table and give them a try. Okay, we figured we'd try the chocolate chip first. It says on the side, safe to eat raw. Dough from our No Bake Bites cookie dough mix is safe to eat raw because we use heat treated flour. Betty's tips. Enjoy cookie dough bites frozen or refrigerated. Store cookie dough bites in a resealable bag in the freezer for up to 60 days or refrigerate it for a week. Um, so you could actually leave them out of the refrigerator in a bag for 60 days? No. Refrigerate for a week. No, it says put them in the freezer for 60 oh, days. Oh, freezer, okay. Yeah, you have to put, them, that. Yeah, put, yeah, you have to put them in the freezer. So it says prepared. There are 110 calories per bite, but now, who knows? Yeah. So um, I cut one in half. Go ahead. It's good. And it's a mouthful. I like the chocolate chip cookie flavor. Some of that sour cream comes through a little bit. Mm -hmm. It sure does. It is, it's very thick. Mm -hmm. I think this, these would be really nice frozen. Mm -hmm. um, to be even firmer. Yeah, I think they would, yeah, because they would be firmer. But you do, if you don't like the flavor of sour cream, yeah. then they, these will not be for you because that does come through. In the first video that we did, um, we reviewed uh, cookies and cream, chocolate brownie, and what was the other one? Birthday. And I think we said in that video, ooh, they need to have a chocolate chip. Well, I had no idea at that time. There were three other flavors of these to hunt down. Um, so I do like the chocolate chip, but I don't believe in those other three that the cream cheese flavor came through as much as it does in this yeah, one. I mean, you can definitely taste it. I mean, it's not like overpowering or anything, but you can tell it's there. You can tell it's there, yeah. It's not your traditional buttery chocolate chip cookie. Did we use the same brand of cream cheese for this video as we did in that uh, one? I can't remember. I think we used Walmart brand last time. So Just that could make a difference too if the, if the, that we use Philadelphia. So um, I don't know. it may be stronger. Yeah. I, I don't remember which brand we used for that video. I'm, I'm almost positive we used Walmart <coughs> because um, the packaging was different. But. We usually do buy Walmart brand just because it's it's cheaper, but well, they, they didn't have any single packs this time. That, that could be the difference though. Okay, so this is the peanut butter, and it says it's 120 calories. So 110 for the chocolate chip, 120 for the peanut butter. I love the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. It's got a good flavor to it. Mm -hmm. I still get the hint of uh, cream cheese. Say how. That reminds me of peanut butter fudge. Mm -hmm. I see that. Mm -hmm. If it didn't have a, a, a buckeye. No. A buckeye. Yeah, it's not as chocolatey, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Similar. Yeah, that is very, very, very similar to a buckeye. Um, that peanut butter, if they had had you, and you could probably, I'm sure you could do this, if they had had you flatten that out in a pan, and refrigerate it, you could cut that into squares and you could have peanut butter fudge out of that. That, that is delicious. Yeah. I mean, that, that would make really good peanut butter fudge. It, um, it does have that little bit of sour cream flavor though. So just, I mean, that cream cheese flavor. Cream so cheese. Just keep, 
Keep See, you said sour cream too. Oh, it's easy. <laughs> I don't change um, that one. That that is that's very very good. Okay, and then the last last one is the lemon, and it has a vanilla flavor drizzle, and it's a, back to 110 calories. And I'll tell you, when I was forming these into balls, this is the only one, the only mix that it kind of wanted to fall apart. You had to really press it together. It went together. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite one. It's it's excellent. <laughs> mm-hmm. Because the lemon's strong, mm -hmm. but it's a sweet, it's a sweet like a lemon meringue pie kind of sweet. That's yes. very, very good. Got a little tartness to it. Mm -hmm. And those will be excellent frozen. Mm -hmm. those um, are my, the lemon ones are my favorite out of probably every one of them we've tried. Out of all that we've tried, the peanut butter is my favorite. I like but that. the lemon would be uh, my second. Yeah. And I it's like the right there. Yeah. It just honestly it depends on what kind of a mood you're in. Yeah, that's true. Um, but so so we tried six of them. So that's saying a lot that. Um, because the other ones were good, but I don't think they had, they weren't near as good as these. These were just very, very good. No. Yeah, I um, agree. The peanut butter is probably my second. Your second. Yeah. So yeah, interchangeable for us, but, but both of them are very good. The chocolate chip is good. Mm -hmm. It's nice, but you are going to taste that cream cheese. Just yeah. know that. And it's different. So it doesn't taste like a chocolate chip cookie because you don't put cream cheese in a chocolate chip yeah. cookie. So it, it's it's different for that reason not bad just different um but yeah these are very good so if you can only buy uh two out of the six mixes uh then i would choose one of these no, me too. yeah i think you'll be very happy with them so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching <laughs>